Construction of Saskatoon's new joint use schools is on time and on budget. Media and school officials received a tour of the Stonebridge facility. Design and construction lead Ian Podmore says they're trying to maximize the amount of work they complete before winter hits. As we're working right now, we will have a very comfortable working environment uh, inside all the spaces for the winter season to, to, to finish. So we'll keep painting, we'll be putting floors in, we'll be putting ceilings in, we'll be uh, uh, um, uh, finalizing a lot of the equipment and, and spaces. In total, the entire building will house close to 1,500 children in the first year. When the new joint use schools open, there won't be as much pressure on other schools to handle a large influx of students. But board chair of Saskatoon Public Schools, Ray Morrison, says the effort to accommodate more students doesn't end there. There's a contingency plan in place to handle growth once the schools open. This school, I think, uh, second year it's open, will be pushing 800 students. So it will be very full, um, but a part of the design process has been the design and construction and addition of some relocatable classrooms in some of the locations from day one. So that's been factored in, growth's been factored in. The other schools are being built in Rosewood, Evergreen and Hampton Village areas and there are also joint use schools going up in Warman and Martinsville and three sites in Regina. All of the schools are expected to be ready for students next fall. Carol Thompson, SaskatoonHomePage.ca